baking stream. I, you guys hit the sub goal for this two months ago. I'm an authentic streamer now because I've waited two months to do this. <laughs> uh, we are going to be making a Canadian classic called Speckled Squares. I actually think it's a coast classic. I grew up in the Maritimes and we had them all the time there. Michiko? Oh, she's t using the litter box. Um, but Charm grew up on the East Coast, West Coast, West Coast, and they had them over there. So I think it's really just the opposite ends of Canada both have speckled squares. They're like, every occasion, weddings, funerals, any family get together, they have speckled squares. All right? It's the best. <laughs> it's the best. They're amazing. I actually don't have my grandmother's recipe for this one. I'm going to be using my mother's recipe, which is still very good. I love my mom. It's actually, speckled squares are very similar to, if you guys have ever heard of um, ski cake. They're very similar, just pretty much the same thing in squares form. So I'm actually using my mother's ski cake recipe. The music is too soft now. There you go. It's just the, the littlest bit of classical music to make it not sound empty. But yeah, squares, and then you put icing on top, and then you drizzle chocolate on top. It's amazing. The music is not existent. Yeah, probably. But you know, but you know, sometimes that just happens. Classical music is also just very quiet. Oh, cause it's on my computer. There you go. Anyways, I'm also gonna have to be squatted this entire video. Cause still no way I can get like the table. Rosina Pants, you know, her camera must be like nine feet tall. Anyways, first we start with the cake. So we need half cup of butter, a cup and a quarter of sugar, two cups of flour, three teaspoons of baking powder, one teaspoon of salt, one cup of milk, three egg whites, three squares of semi-sweet chocolate, grated, and then two teaspoons of vanilla. Everyone understood? Great. Uh, I usually soften my butter first because it's gonna be really hard to mix otherwise. <laughs> yes, chef. Good. Thank you. Give me the respect I deserve. My title. I wish... Oh, I have... I have an apron somewhere. I have an apron. Wait. Wait. There we go. My grandmother gave me this one, so I'm not using her recipe, but she's got this at least. <laughs> Vote Portugal for Eurovision? I have not seen any of Eurovision. I think only thing that I've seen is like the songs that go viral on TikTok. And I think that was like from years ago of Eurovision. We're gonna use this entire stick of butter. We're only gonna use half of it for the cake and then the other half of it for the icing. So I'm just gonna leave it out when we're done with it. So it'll be more soft. seconds. Again, we don't want it melted. We want it softened. Just so it'll be easier to mix. Portugal girl. <laughs> I mean, I believe it. I believe it. I do think Portugal is generally very gay, but you know, I, I still just haven't seen it. I still just haven't seen it. All right. Got the sugar next. We put everything out already. I just didn't put it where it needed to be. I feel enlightened. All right, uh, let me grab a scratch to scoop out the rest of that. <laughs> Do -do -do. Is 
Zero Vision at the start or the end? Like, it it goes round by round, right? Eliminating each country. Is that the very beginning or is this like the finals? Mm -hmm. Oh, it's free. Oh, that's nice. I love that word. Oh, it ends today. So it's Portugal and who? Or is there, is there only two for the last episode? Two cups, no, a cup and a quarter of sugar. Two cups of flour. I'm allowed to make a mess, this is my kitchen. There's 26 countries total in all of Eurovision? Or there's 26 in the finals, cause that's insane. Like I know Europe has a lot of countries, but I don't, know, I don't feel like all of them would participate. In the final. 26 in the final. Jesus Christ. All right. I don't know if I've ever fully watched a competition with 26 competitors. That's going to be long. All right. Uh, so that's a cup and quarter of sugar, and now we're going to do two cups of flour. But first, I'm going to mix it a little bit. Um, and I don't actually have a plug-in anywhere for my mixer closer to the table, so unfortunately I have to steal away. Ah. Oh, I have to steal away the... the bowl from you to mix it every time. Go back here. You get, you get a wide shot. There we go. It looks like delicious buttered sugar. Alright, now two cups of flour. 36 total. They only eliminate 10 throughout the show. And it's Europe plus Australia. Oh, because it's, well, it's part of the crown. It's governed by the crown. Because probably when it started, Australia was still heavily reliant on Europe. Or the, the Britain. Queensland. Five in each semi. Okay, so they have two semis. Hello, thank you for the follow. Prad Zalt. <laughs> it's hard to read on this, this far away. My god. I think my vision is getting worse by the day. No, I don't. And you're gonna have to leave. I'm sorry. Do. <laughs> Thank you, love. Alright, that's two cups of flour. Again, kind of measure with your heart. I'm not one of the girlies who are like gonna go for exact measurements, alright? This is like I mean, it's got too many ingredients to be properly depression era, but it's it's a pretty poor man <laughs> snack. It, you don't have to be if you're missing an ingredient, you can kind of just do it anyways. Very much a use what you got kind of cooking vibe. All right, now it's looking more like dough which is why we're going to start adding more wet mixtures. Spain, France, Italy, Germany, UK, and two other countries, don't remember. Don't have your money. Oh! That's not fair! <laughs> that's not fair! They shouldn't do that! That's not... That's not right! No! I mean, it's not like it doesn't happen in every other competition in the world, but still! It makes me feel sad! It's supposed to be a thing of hope! Did you ever watch... There was that parody, sorry, that satire movie with Will Ferrell about Eurovision of Ice and Fire or something, and that was really good. It's about like a, a duo from uh, Norway <laughs> winning Eurovision. All right, three teaspoons of baking powder, then one teaspoon of salt. <laughs> Dude. <laughs> 
generally hilarious. I do, I do kind of like that when, uh, when sugar baby, like, when the rich kids get so much support from their parents and they're just bad and there's no amount of money that can ever make you just not bad. I poured too much salt. That's okay. We just ignore it. <laughs> um, now we're going to do a cup of milk. And of course, I haven't even put the milk in the bag yet. Oh, look at it in all of its glory. The way milk is supposed to be packaged and sold. Oh, they played after. <laughs> Dude, that's even funnier. They played it after Eurovision. It's really good. Will Ferrell's amazing. I had the milk and I'm starting to sweat because it's so stinking warm in here. It's a lovely day. It was honestly a less nice day when I decided I was going to do it today. It was kind of the thought that it was kind of a cloudy and overcast day. So I was like, yeah. It needs a little bit more liquid though, so we're gonna add the three egg whites. Oh, the eggs are The exact place the eggs are meant to be. So we're gonna use egg whites for the cake and then the egg yolks for the frosting. So keep them, we're gonna use them later. With bag milk and get the food in. Yeah, I don't, I mean, I don't even know if it's more environmentally friendly or anything like that. In my brain it kind of is. But like the cardboard boxes, I don't, I think it's less plastic. Just in general, I think it's less plastic to use bag. I'll put it back into the spot. Doo -doo 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 -doo. Holding a bag of milk does feel strange though. All right, let's see how good I am at this. Oh, I need a second bowl because I'm using the whites first. Aren't we? Yeah, we yeah. are. I mean, milk in general isn't very environmental friendly anyways because it's about the water. You gotta use to feed the cows. Oh, I got another bowl. I was just licked the egg off my fingers. God, I'm glad I stopped myself from doing that. That would taste terrible. Alright. Boom. It's made out of reused paper and plastics. It's pretty okay. Mmm. We should go back to the, I feel like the glass milk jugs are probably the most, the most goodest. You know? And you just return them anytime you want to get new milk. Actually, there is a cafe near me where it does that with its milk. I have a couple of um, milk bottles. And the idea is, I keep all the milk bottles because I think they're so cute. <laughs> And I, I use them for different things. Um, but the idea is you get like a discount when you return the milk bottle so they can use them again. Oh, egg on my hands. Alright, last one. Oh, what I broke the yolk. Did I? Well, maybe I didn't. Oh, yep, yeah, I did. Alright. It'll be a little bit of a mixed. That's okay. You're gonna eat the cake with the icing at the end, so you know, the flavor profile will still be similar. Get that off. Come on. All right, it's gonna go with the yolks. What? Beautiful. <laughs> I'm 
just know how to play this. Back when I was a musical child. Alright, that's eggs. Uh, and now we're going to do two teaspoons of vanilla. Well, I didn't even put the eggs in it yet. So remember, we're using the whites, not the oh, yolks. Oh my gosh, that's heavy. I can't lift that with one hand. Yolks, two teaspoons of vanilla, and then we're going to start shredding our chocolate. Do, do, do. They're not going to mix the whites until we have foam. We put them in there just... I don't know. <laughs> and it's because it's the, the recipe for white cake, generally. It's pretty much the same. But no, we're not making, like... I know what you mean. It's something that I refuse to do because I don't like making those eggs. It look like yolk. <laughs> those things where you're supposed to whisk it into like stiff peaks. I don't do any recipe that does that because I don't like it. All right, one, two. Oh, a little bit more than two. All right. <laughs> Okay, and then mix once more. <laughs> call it white cake, vanilla cake. You can call it that as well, but you know. White cake is usually what it's called. Well, it's actually, it's ski cake. That's what it's called. Oh. So it's going to have... Okay, we're because it will start to slide out of the bowl now that it's wet enough. Call it silver cake. That's strange. Because I feel like none of the processes ever look silver. Alright, how much? So, three squares of semi-sweet chocolate. Grate it. Now, this is semi-sweet baker's chocolate. And I'm going to use, I think this is technically four squares. I'm not going to cut them. We're going to use the egg dish because I refuse to dirty more dishes than I need to because I hate cleaning. But we're gonna sit here and chat for like a good five, 10 minutes. <laughs> As, actually, I set the oven now. Set the oven now, set the sweat. Uh, it should be around somewhere between 325 and 400 Fahrenheit. I would estimate, guesstimate 350. Yeah, yeah, that's pretty exact. <laughs> Whew. It's gonna end up baking for, I think, 20 to 40 minutes. 20 to 35 minutes, yeah. So we'll have plenty of time to start making the icing. We had lunch with America today. <laughs> you felt so smart. <laughs> what a sentence. What a sentence. <laughs> hey, you know, I I don't know why I feel the need to defend them, but I'm like... <laughs> I do! <laughs> Education in that country is a mess. I feel empathy. <laughs> si oh, no, I feel sympathy. God, I get the two confused. Alright, this is actually going pretty well. <sighs> Ow. Just be careful not to rub your fingers against it, because it is a cheese grater. And that will really hurt. Oh, and it's starting to melt on it already. Ugh. That's kind of why I'm going with four bars instead of three, because I feel like at least one of them isn't going to make it in there in time. <laughs> okay, okay. All right, all right. There's a comorbidity going on there. You're gay, so you must be dumb. <laughs> the odds of you being dumb is much higher. starting to fully just turn into like a little s shit. <laughs> that is the difficulty with baking on hot days. Your ingredients do start to melt before they're supposed to. Ow. Okay. <laughs> 
seam to the last little bit. Oh, my nails are gonna be a wreck. All right. I'm just gonna kinda let the last little bit be more chunks than shreds. All right, get out everything from inside the cheese grater. We don't need that again. You have a six-year-old cousin, okay. The worst thing happened. I'm sure I can list things that are worse, but you know. Alright, chocolate free. Now let's scoop what we've got for the chocolate shreds. Beautiful. Into our cake mixture. Then I'll go ahead, take them to the mixing station and get that right. judgmental look. <laughs> no, because little kids do that all the time. They make the most just outlandish statements that are very inappropriate for like adults, but they don't understand what anything means. So they're just allowed to say it. My favorite thing with little kids is always having to uh, ask them to guess my age. They always guess like 12. And I'm like, no, I'm uh, older than 12. <laughs> I'm 21. And they're like, people live that long? Yeah, it's insane. She's adopted, oh my God, oh. Okay, that's a little bit cuter. <laughs> a little bit cuter and more understanding why you weren't just like, but you are too. <laughs> I don't know, even when kids say the wrong things, I do still find them very cute and funny. Especially when they're not your kids and like the parents are beside them. And the parents are like immediately like, no, no, don't say that. And you know, that's that's the best. Alright, what do I got for short? I don't. So this is less of a grandmother's trick. I'm gonna use cooking grease to grease up the pan. Usually I'll use shortening. Oh, this pan is a wreck. Don't worry about it. Oh. Usually shortening. Sometimes you can use butter as well. I don't like using butter, but anything kind of with a lard base works well as cooking grease. I find that this is just always too heavy. I don't know. I feel like it makes the bottom of it oily. Let me wipe some of it off. It's hard to get there just right amount enough with the aerosol here. There we go, getting all the sides. Okay. Now scrape it into the pan. She knows her family is not fully white. <laughs> you sing birthday chants in an Afghan dialect. And people were, it, <laughs> she's, she's coming to sentience is what's happening. <laughs> all right, don't drop the heavy ceramic bowl. nine by nine inch pan, if that's important for anyone to know. <laughs> Cause it's the only cake pan I have. Well, squares pan I have. I have two circular cake pans. But it just feels wrong to make squares in them. Oh. Oh. Yeah, that's how all squares are made. <laughs> they, don't, they don't make them individually. But yeah, all right, let's spread it out to the edges, kind of making sure that it's all even. I'll 
keep the spatula because I'm going to eat what is left on it. Because my god, I have had a sugar craving for days and I have not let myself eat as much as I want of it. I don't know if there'd be enough sugar in the world to eat as much as I want of it. There she is. Uh, I don't know if the oven's hot enough yet. The only indicator is whether a light on top is a lit or not. I don't know if you can see. And I've never actually figured out whether or not when it's lit, it's good, or when it's unlit, it's good. So, you know. Fun fact, you like to share it. My mind. <laughs> good for you. <laughs> I think I will just put it in now. It's, I'm not, I mean, you can tell from any baking stream I do, I'm not a baking purist. You don't gotta be exact. You just gotta be kind of good. Oh, also I need to clean my oven because there's a foul burning smell coming from it because something fell on the bottom of it. Whoops. Um, okay, so that's gonna be for 25 to 30 minutes, I believe. Grab my little recipe book here. Da, 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 da. Yeah, 25 30 minutes. So I'll set timer for that. And we'll take a moment to wash our bowl, eat what's left of the batter, and we'll start in the icing. Here's my timer. And basically, when these are good to come out of the oven, the top will be sort of golden brown. Very much like when you make like shortbread cookies. Oh, ugh. I can't speak. I'm standing up while I'm looking at the spatula. How do you put on a tie? I don't have one, or I'd try to show you. I think I know a little bit of it from muscle memory. I think you might just have to look it up as well. There's a lot of different ways to tie a tie. The standard is a half Windsor. Kind of just like a complicated knot. Okay, that's so fucking good. Right. Mm -hmm. I don't know, ties are complicated, are, are so complicated, sorry. Understand them as well because they're sort of one of the few objects of clothing that like people will compare uh, like men specifically will complain about wearing and then wear them anyways because usually just like well you can just not wear them and it'd be fine but I don't know like there's other ways to be dressed up but no I don't want to do that. All right. Um, so, for the icing, we're going to use our three egg yolks from earlier, um, two cups of icing sugar, the other half a cup of butter, two teaspoons of vanilla, and uh, I, wasn't, I was going to say three squares of semi-sweet chocolate, but that's actually not in the icing. We're going to melt that separately and pour it over the icing. Yes. Yes. I also... <laughs> it's so good that I'm good at baking because I don't do anything the recipes tell you to do. They'll tell you to put it in a certain order and then do the dries and the wet stuff. I put it in exactly the order that's listed in the recipe. I only ever look at that part. That's the only part I need. That and then what temperature is the oven and how long. That's all you need, alright? Very rarely, unless you're doing like a creme brulee or something, very rarely for like a simple cake or a cookie, do you actually need to put things in a specific order? All right? It's chemistry, but it's not that complicated of a chemistry that a couple minutes is gonna really affect anything with how soon they're put into a bowl. Okay, I gotta wash the bowl.
outside. I feel like Canada doesn't even really have a spring or fall. It kind of just goes hot or cold. Fall is usually pretty warm. Spring is usually pretty warm. And it's just... Oh, it's not even summer yet. I told someone it was summer yesterday and they're like, what the fuck? I'm like, but... Oh, Michika, are you okay? She's sneezing. I think she got scared that I moved the table. And she's hiding behind the couch again. Michika is my new little cat. She's a foster cat, so she's not mine. But I'm going to take care of her for the next month. And then hopefully she can get adopted. But she's a sweet little baby girl. They just want so much love and gets kind of very annoyed when I don't pet her all the time. All right, oh, I'm gonna grab. Since when do I have a cat? Three days ago. <laughs> it was surprisingly easy. <laughs> My name is Michika. If she comes over to the kitchen, I'll show her to you, but I don't think she actually will. She is 16 years old. Uh, I got her from the SPCA, which is like a Canada like um, adoption, like like a, oh something. It, it, it's it's like PETA kind of, <laughs> but in Canada, I think. Actually, it might not even be Canadian. I think the C stands for cruelty, against cruelty. They're not for cruelty. Why is she my age? She's <laughs> she's a very old lady. But she's cute. She has hypothyroidism, which is why she's in the foster program, because she needs to be taking medication. Um, any any um, pet usually without medical issues, they just stay at the shelter until they can get adopted. Um, she has hyperthyroidism. She likely has kidney disease. Because, you know, cat 16 is pretty old for a cat. Issues sort of start to pile up when they're that old. I just put a little bit of milk in the icing. Because it was in the, it was in what was left of the, 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 oh my god, Jesus Christ. Alright, my bags are really hot, because they were sitting on my stove, which apparently has a vent from the oven, which I didn't even realize was there. Alright, two cups of icing, we put in our three egg yolks already. And so this is going to kind of make, I think it's generally called an egg icing. I haven't had on anything other than speckled squares cake, so I don't actually know if there's a proper name from it. Uh, but it's going to be more yellowy and kind of thicker than a general buttercream icing. Right, that's the icing sugar. Let me grab these guys. <laughs> Because you know, I'm gonna eat these too, you know. I just, you know, it's it's important to eat a lot of food. Well, the speckled squares are speckled with chocolate, so we they're in the oven right now. We shaved a bunch of chocolate and then mixed it in with white cake batter. So they're gonna be a little speckles. Wash these and mix the icing. I can't help myself. It's really good. The best part of baking is eating what you bake. It is the primary reason why I bake. <laughs> and sugar and the eggs together. <laughs> Classical music is so dramatic. It's the best way to sort of motivate yourself to get something done, I found. Either that or like angry rage music.
Like I get things done by pretending I was in a movie, in a movie, you know, having to get things done. You figured out the tie? Good job. All right. Then half cup of butter. I'm getting myself confused. Uh, again, I'm gonna soften this a little bit so it's easier to mix. But we really, at this point, we really want to make sure that it's not completely melted because that will mess up the consistency of the icing. This is kind of the one <laughs> general rule of baking I do follow instead of just going by the measurements. Uh, so 20 seconds should be enough because it's a pretty big hunk of butter. It's so using half a cup. Uh, and then we'll put the vanilla in and then the icing will be done. Oop, and the icing is dripping off my counter. That's okay. Happy little accidents. My house is not very clean usually, so... This isn't our normal. Mmm, that's not good with egg and sugar. <laughs> it looks sort of very bright right now. And we'll once put the butter on it, it'll get a little bit lighter. But it's still gonna be kind of yellowy. Sometimes the game you do stuff is vigilante shit. I think I've heard of that. I don't listen to Enoch Taylor Swift, unfortunately. I know it's good, and I know I probably like it. Oh, I fucked it up. That's okay. So it's a little bit half melted, which means the consistency of my icing isn't gonna be what I want it to be. That's alright. It'll just be a little bit thinner. Than the ideal. Do, 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 do. Generally, there's never really a problem. Even if you mess up, you kind of can just keep trucking, usually. If you put too much of it, just double all your other ingredients and just make it, make it extra big, you know? Sugar. So I'm just making it a little bit sweeter than I had planned. Mm -hmm. So Taylor Swift is like Xanax. <laughs> yeah, yeah, no, that's true. Her songs are sad and they're emotional. They're just not the level of angst that I need. mark it down somewhere I keep track of my hands how much I've used I did not do that today use more So I don't just have to keep moving, pick up and moving it. I don't know why I got a ceramic bowl. I think it's just because it's cute. It's a cute little bowl, but it's so fucking heavy. Like it's hard to use. <laughs> oh, but it is also speckled, which kind of matches the feet. and now it's sort of more of this sort of pastel yellow. And that is what we want. All right. My gosh, it is warm. Okay, I'm getting myself a glass of milk because I think I'm out of water because <laughs> I'm an irresponsible adult who consistently forgets that I'm not allowed to drink the water from the tap because it's poison because that's allowed. All right, we shall sit for a minute. Vigilant shit is none of those, it's just about killing- Okay, well that's kind of good. I can kind of get on board with that one. <laughs> God, classical music is so good. I only really listen to it on rare occasions. I don't just sit and listen to classical music. I'm not that kind of nerd, but 
like studying to classical music is amazing. Cleaning to classical music is pretty great. Although I do usually like to sing when I listen to classical music. But I sing when I listen when I hmm. I usually like to sing when I clean. Because it kind of feels more vibes. I uh, my tap water is contaminated. I live in a city. <laughs> I live in a very old city with very old pipes. And essentially they're they're going through the process of changing all the pipes into new pipes, which are safe. Um, but that's this is a huge city. And that'll take a very long time. So most of the city, the entire time that I've lived here, away from my parents' house, the, the water in wherever I've lived has been contaminated. So you're not allowed, to, you're not supposed to drink straight from the tap. I have done it before, and I haven't gotten sick. Some of my roommates have gotten sick from drinking the tap water. But you have to, I have to fill up a Brita filter. I got one free from the government because the water is contaminated. But, you know, it is shitty. And nowhere in the city has air conditioning. They do have heating everywhere though, because it gets too cold, but it's, <laughs> it's actually very European, I think, in my brain. That's good. Milk is good. Isn't that a thing in Europe? Most places don't, oh, maybe it's just Britain. Most old department buildings don't have air conditioning. Oh, Europe has good tap water. Okay, well, good for you. <laughs> Good for you. I mean, I think also New York City has very good tap water, I'm pretty sure. They have a lot of filters in place. Everywhere has air conditioning? That's gotta be untrue. I think it might be a British thing. I think in Great Britain, a lot of the old apartment buildings just don't have air conditioning. My place certainly don't. I have a ceiling fan and then a rotating fan, and usually I just keep both my windows open and the air just goes through. Cold in most places I go. I am very resilient to the cold. I don't get cold very often. I melt like a summer of bitch in heat. Even a little bit of heat. It's 25 degrees inside my home right now, and I'm melting. My skin has a thick sheen of sweat on it. I, this is normal weather <laughs> in a lot of places that people wouldn't be. Why didn't you little kitty cat drinking her water? That people wouldn't be disturbed by, but this is a warm summer's day to me. Anything above 20, I'm gonna sweat. I'm, it's gonna be terrible for me. <sighs> Celsius. Fahrenheit, that'd be below freezing. That'd be insanely cold in Fahrenheit. 25 degrees? I would not be able to be in a t-shirt. Anyway, yeah. Alright, how much left do we have on the... We have eight minutes left in the oven. I'll give it a check now. I doubt it will be done. No, it's starting to bubble. The edges of it are starting to get brown. We don't really want to take it out until um, the middle starts to brown. Generally, the bubbles <laughs> will sort of turn brown, and that's good. I'm glad you agree as a Portuguese person. I feel like I have a lot of friends that are like... Brazilian or Latino and they're like, uh, it's it's so cold. I'm like, no, no, it's not babes No <laughs> But yeah, this is too warm for me. All right, so the chocolate let's see how much chocolate I have left actually You might just use all of it I'll just use three squares, which is a very little amount So that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna use four because again, I don't want to cut the squares. Actually, I feel like that was a bit too much last time I did this. I feel like this was a bit too much. It looks like it's not a lot of chocolate. But you melt this and then you drizzle over the cake and it actually turns out to be a lot more chocolate than you think it is. Oh my god, hi Michika! Oh, she just came up to my knee and I almost hit her. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry, baby girl. Oh, sweetheart. Oh, she's gonna follow me around now for pets, but that's okay. We had cuddle time the other day, and that was so cute. Such a little bonding experience, me and my child. <laughs> she looks insane though, she's half shaven. Because she had mats and dirt in her fur. So just like her head and her paws have fur on them, and the rest of it is pretty much just like skin. And she's so tiny, she's skin and bones. Feels really weird petting her with no fur, and very little fat. 
I can feel all of her bones. Yes, I can, Michika. I just don't think I'm saying her name right. Yeah. Well, I just pet my. I just wash my hands so, not, so that I pet. All right. So I'm gonna use kind of a fool's trick. I'm gonna have a little glass thing. That's what I'm gonna use to melt my chocolate. Actually, I'll break this up so it'll be faster to melt. What I'm gonna use, gonna use a double broiler, which, I mean, in my brain is a camping technique. I don't know if that's actually where people use it most, but I feel like it's where it was taught to me how to use. So I'm just gonna take a pan, fill it with water, A little bit we don't actually need a lot because it just needs to be giving off the heat and it'd be best if you had a bigger thing than this so you could just sort of like sit it on top of it where it's not in the water but you know <laughs> so to be real but what i'm gonna do i'm actually kind of proud that i have never downloaded be real so i'm gonna grab these my only pair of chopsticks This is not my only pair of chopsticks. It's my only pair of reusable chopsticks. What we're gonna do I'm just gonna put it like that. Ideally, I put um, elastics on either side so that I'd feel more safe that it wasn't gonna fall in. Actually, I might be able to use a hair elastic. Actually, <gasps> idea. Use the elastic from this. <laughs> She's staring at me like I'm gonna feed her the icing sugar. I'm not, Mishka. Are you out of water? I think you've got some. Hey. Okay. Put that on one end. This on the other. They're kind of equal strength. This will warp my chopsticks. I'm okay with that. We're gonna put it on the stove on high heat so that water can boil. And then that chocolate is slowly gonna melt. And that's what we're gonna use um, to, yeah, to drizzle over the cake. I'm sure you could probably do it in the microwave as well. I just have a fear of like the chocolate burning. Cause my mother did that once <laughs> as a child. We were making like, actually we are probably making this. Um, in the winter, and so my mom was like, oh, I just p I'll put it in a ceramic bowl, and I'll put it in the microwave. Um, then it started to smoke, and so my mom was like, oh my god, it's burning. Grabbed like a, grabbed the bowl, it was bur it burnt her hands, opened the door, and threw it outside into the snow so it cooled down, but the drastic temperature sif shift broke the bowl, and then the chocolate sort of just melted into the snow. <laughs> a great day. Truly a great day. Yeah, baby. Baby, I don't think she likes being picked up, so I, otherwise I would pick her up and show her to you guys. But, alas, she's, I've only done it to her once or twice and she's never seemed that comfy when I've picked her up. So um, I don't, I don't think she likes it. I think she's too, she's too distinguished for that, you know? You know? She's a lady, all right? All right, that says two minutes left on the cake. Got about my mitts. Let's see. Mm, that kind of looks good. I think I'll leave it for a couple minutes more. Because like, I don't want the inside to be goop. Ugh. So I guess we get a little bit of chat time. We'll wait for that chocolate to melt and we'll wait for the cake to finish. This cat is so damn cute. Dude, I've never had a cat before. She's really sweet. My dad was allergic to cats for a so we only ever had dogs. But they're not that different. I just have to clean up her shit. And I suppose you kind of have to do that sometimes with dogs, too. My dad was just a G and shat in the woods. <laughs> I was scratching at her hood shit. All right, um, I don't know. What should we chat about? Video games? I feel like video games is very topical. So 
Okay. Oh, it's LaFonda's 12 hour stream. So tonight, actually, about 8 p.m. to 10 p.m. Eastern, I'm going to be on LaFonda's stream uh, to play Among Us for them. It's LaFonda's two year anniversary, three year anniversary. I think it must be two years, because I think I've been streaming longer than LaFonda. Um, and so we'll raid to LaFonda after this once I'm done baking. We'll be there tonight. The new Zelda game? I haven't played a single Zelda game, nor have I watched playthroughs of Zelda games. I really should get on it, but I've never, I've never owned, like, a console. I think they're on Nintendo Switch is one of the ones. I don't own one of those. You've yelled at me for a long time to buy one. I still have not. Um, I don't have, like, a PS4 or anything else that they were likely on. So I don't know. Sprout has has it though. It came out yesterday, didn't it? It came out yesterday. Yeah, it did. Um, yeah, it did. Cause I was asked Sprout if she wanted to play games yesterday, and she's like, "The new Zelda game." Okay, well, I don't download it. I don't want to really play the new Zelda game. I was like, "Absolutely, you play that." What's the like plot supposed to be of it? I very much don't even understand the plot of Zelda to begin with. Isn't it very complicated? Isn't there like multiple timelines? I think I've watched like some game theories about it. <laughs> Now, my biggest thought is how I'm gonna let this cake cool down before I put the icing on it. And I don't know if we actually will be able to. Because I am not a just chatting streamer, and it kind of feels very awkward to me whenever I do do it. Unless I have something good to talk about, I don't usually just sit <laughs> and talk in my shoes. That's why we always have a game going. Alright, this chocolate's starting to melt. I'm gonna grab a fork and just kind of move it around. And this is the good thing with Baker's chocolate, you don't have to add it thinner, like you do with, uh, with like, um, chocolate chips. If, you, if you're melting chocolate chips, you usually want to add, like, butter, or, um, oh, those little, <laughs> another baking thing that I don't remember the name of. Alright, that's melting pretty good. Whew. And hopefully it'll hold shape for a while. Hi, baby! My baby, my baby, you're my baby. And it's still kind of wiggly in the middle, so I'm going to leave it for the extra five minutes. Whew. Whew, it's so warm, isn't it, Michka? It's spelled M-I-T-S-H-K-A. If anyone speaks Slavic languages and can tell me how to actually pronounce that, I don't know if she just doesn't care when I say her name and I'm saying it right, but she's never acknowledged me when I've said her name. So that makes me think that I'm not saying it right. Or maybe I'm just too used to dogs. Yeah? I'm gonna grab another cup of milk. It's so warm in here, Michka. Michka. No? Yeah. Can't understand the plot of Zelda. I know Zelda is the princess, but Zelda isn't actually the main character. Link is the main character. Who's that little elf guy? He has a sword. Is he romantically involved with Zelda? Is that the plot? And there's, I think, three different timelines. Ocarina of Time, I think, was one of the games, and that split, split the timelines. Yeah, maybe. Mm -hmm. God, milk is amazing, isn't it, Mitsuka? Isn't it? I don't think you're allowed to eat it as a cat. I don't think cats are supposed to actually have milk. I think it's one of those myths. Fun fact, the rabbits eat carrots myth was started by Bugs Bunny. Because he was a... Because <laughs> he was a bunny eating carrots. But actually, Bugs Bunny ate a carrot in that episode as a reference to Clark Gable, I think? As a reference to um, the famous person at the time. And... Everyone at the time would have understood that that was that, what that reference was. But then as people grew older and that, that person wasn't that famous anymore, eh. people were just like, oh, I just guess he's eating carrots because rabbits like carrots. And they don't. Rabbits usually eat leafy greens. Carrots aren't that good for them. They eat like spinach and lettuce. I love you, baby girl. Whew. All right, bye now. We don't know if they're involved. Okay. Isn't that, is that one of the Zelda games where he, the, 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 he gets to be a trans person in one of them? I don't, I, I, I 
I feel like I watched a video in, of trans people in video games. They went through a bunch of old ones and they're like, maybe this is a reference to like costume dresses or something. I think there's a scene- Hello, Vane! I think there's a scene in Zelda where he dresses up as a woman and gets to seduce a man? I think- I think that's a, that's a plot point of some video game and I think it's Zelda. Alright, let's check my chocolate. Because again, I really don't want that to burn. Oh, that's good, it melts it. I think there's just one stubborn piece that was sitting on the edge that needs to get a little bit thinner. But I'll turn off the stove for now and that can just kind of simmer and hopefully keep it warm. I love it. Hey, it's you. Whew. All right, it's too warm in here. Yeah? Yeah, it is. She just follows me around now. She'll follow me and then just kind of sit by my feet and wait for me to pet her. Which is insanely cute, and I love it. But you know, I don't think I pet her as much as she wants me to. Oh, that's good. Alright, so that's just fully melted chocolate. I don't know how I can see from all the way back there. But that's good enough of chocolate. That'll make, that'll be lovely on top of a cake. So I think what's probably gonna happen is I'll take the cake out of the oven, show you how it looks, how it's supposed to look, and then I'll walk you through how you would do the icing and the drizzle. Cause it'll, it'll take a good long time for this cake to cool enough that the icing will not melt on it. Which is always my worst fear when it comes to cake. Cause it just separates the icing and it looks gross. And it's, ugh. Supposed to make two cakes to the baby shower, but cool. <laughs> To baby shower, but Guam hates everything in the refrigerator keeps ruining it. Oh, that sucks. That sucks. We had a blackout here, or a brownout. Oh, excuse me. Brownout, I think they were called, and my my power was off for three days. And then it came back on for 12 hours, and I got really helpful, and I got groceries. Then it went off again for like five more hours, so my groceries did not last. <laughs> it went bad. Hey, Mitch, yeah. But yeah, no, that's what I get to look forward to in the summer, is the power going out all the time. I don't understand why or how, I'm not an electrician, but we just get power out in the summer. It's better than in the winter, to be honest, to be true, to be fair. At least in the summer, the sun is up most of the day. You know, you're not in the darkness. You're not going to get cold. Although it was really cold when the power went out the last time. I had to bundle up so much. Alright, let's see if this cake is good. Oh, that looks like a good cake. All right. Let me grab something to put it on so I don't burn my table. There you can sort of see the, the golden brown on top of it. That's exactly what it's supposed to look like. And that is a good cake. Good job. I, sh I just hit it with the glove, actually. I shouldn't have done that. So, what you would do next, you gotta wait for it to cool. I'm not gonna wait for it to cool. I'll, I'll, I'm gonna end stream and <laughs> then I'll wait for it to cool and finish decorating it. Oh, thank you, phone. Um, but icing, very simple. Just scoop it on, spread it out like normal icing. For what you're gonna do for the drizzle. Oh my god, you got the cabinet. Meet that. I left the cabinet open and she's gone in there. Her food's kept in there. I bet she's really happy right now. Alright, um, where's my mitt? I'll leave it open, she can explore. I'll just remove the little contraption that we built. Off. And then because of the glass pyrex it's still gonna be very hot. I'll handle it with gloves. What did I put down here? So the technique you use for this. Meet you gotta get out of there. <laughs> she just found her food. I usually use a fork. Uh, you're gonna grab a bunch of it and then oh, yeah, I'll just do it on the surface of the cake and I'll cover it up with the icing earlier, later. Get a bunch of it on there. And then you sort of just <laughs> kind of wiggle it and it'll give you these nice lines. 
I don't know how well you can see, I'll show you in a second. It'll give you those nice lines, and that's what I call it ski cake, even though this is speckled squares, because it's a square root. But again, ski cake and speckled squares are pretty much the same thing. And that's what makes the ski tracks. So you just do that, and then you have three layers. You get the cake, and then you get the icing, and then you get the chocolate, and it's beautiful. You assemble it, you put it all together, you cut it into squares, put it on a plate, and boom! The best Canadian snack. Truly amazing. I say that as someone who isn't a fan of Nanaimo bars. I'm sure a bunch of people from Vancouver well, from Nanaimo will attack me for that. But yes, the music is getting very dramatic. I have chocolate on my elbow. But I think that is where... Oh, hello, it's Tommy! <laughs> Come in clutch just in the end. One year, Jesus Christ. Congratulations! One year. Exclamation point, exclamation point, exclamation point. Wait, 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 wait. Oh, it's right in front. I think what we'll do now is raid over to LaFonda, who is doing their two year anniversary of streaming on Twitch. You beat Twitch, good job. <laughs> um, you guys can hang out there. I'm going to be joining LaFonda on their two year anniversary stream in a couple hours at 8 p.m. to 10 p.m. Eastern to play Among Us with them. And. Yeah, so let me set up the raid, and then you can guys can go give your congrats! I get so scared that I'm gonna step on my cat. God, she's just also slow. La Fonda. Oh, what are the numbers? I'm gonna go open so many windows after this, because my god, is it warm. Almost enough to me make me can reconsider, like, not wanting my neighbors to hear me stream. Like... 1525. I should have remembered that. Among Us. Ugh. <laughs> Why does it never let me do that? Why is it? Uh, uh, don't be broken, Twitch. Don't do that to me. Don't do that to me right now. Don't do that to me right now. I'll pass off from heat exhaustion. My gosh. Hmm. <laughs> ah, got it. Slash read. A thought. Alright, that's what I get for putting an entire table between me and the stream. Alright. There we go. Okay, it's working. Uh, you guys have a lovely day, a lovely time. Go say hi to LaFonda. You can use the raid emote that I'm not going to put in chat because I'll have to reach, again, three feet away from me. How did I get that on my arm? It tasted good. I don't, I don't, I don't mind. Um, and I will see you guys Monday for a stream. I don't know what we're going to do. I'm sure it'll be fun. All right. Bye.